Hello, this is Homestar92, and welcome to part 36 of Oracle of Seasons, and I know for a fact that's right. And also, I can more or less guarantee we're gonna encounter Maple in this part. So let's go ahead and get that done. Don't bother me. So, let's head on down to the first Maple spot we know. Oh, by the way, Magic Boomerang doubles as a lawnmower. And it can cut down mushrooms, which is much quicker than doing it the right way. <laughs> Come on, piece of heart, piece of heart, piece of heart. Of course not. Well, at least we got the better hand there. Okay, so... Anyway, there's really nothing left for me to do in the overworld except for what I have to do for the story, so let's go on down to Horn Village so we can get to Subrosia. Do I have any rings? Unappraised? I have one. Oh, okay. Alright, I'll take it. Quicksand. Oh, of course I appraise that now. I could have used that in that boss battle. Well, that's actually not a bad ring. And in the upcoming area, that might be handy. So... Let's get, let's get that, because it's actually not worthless. Anyway, to the Subrosia Warp. Which is right here. And we need to go talk to some pirates. And not of the music variety. We need to talk to this guy here. Useless fools, can't someone find me, Bell? Aye, you. Aye, I can see it in your eyes. You're a competent adventurer. Okay, go get it. Find me, Bell. I'll be waiting. Really? No reward? That's great. Okay, we need to... Three, three, two, one, one. Three, three, two, one, one, four. Okay. Three, three, two, one, one, four. Whatever. Three, three, two, one, one, four, four, four. Actually, I have a piece of paper right here, so I am going to write that down. If I can get to this aforementioned paper. 332. 3321144. Okay, I just wasted a bunch of time. So, we need to get over to the desert, which means that we need to go down there. Not an overly difficult feat. So, just walk over to the right. Same general area as the windmill, down here on the beach. And now wouldn't be the worst time to equip that quicksand ring. So talk to this guy. You look for the bell, then I can go back. Thank you. Okay. Three, three, two, one, one, four, four, four. And we can go into the desert now. Yay. Pokies. And weavers. Not cool. Haha, ha, I don't sink. And I, just for the sake of completionness, need to go to every square. Plant a gaseous 
seed. And head on up here. And this looks like an oasis. Let's bomb out this wall. Because it looks suspicious. Um, okay, fairy fountain. And we need to come back here in just a second because I forgot something. I need to go to that ship I saw. Which is down on screen. But, like I said, completionists, you know. So you have to go in here and talk to this ghost. And he'll tell you to go find his skull. Which is found over here. There we go. Basically, you carry him around and he'll go crazy when you're standing over the quicksand pit that has the bell. Ordinarily, there's the issue of falling in prematurely, but we don't have that worry. We can find the correct one and then take off the ring. Oh no. Now we have to go in after him. Or not. I guess we have to go back. And those levers are getting annoying. Okay. Let's not get hit this time. I just... How did I drop you? What the crap? Um, okay. Yeah, 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 I know. I'm gonna find this thing. Oh, crap. Are you kidding me? That's easily the most retarded thing I've ever seen. <sighs> so you can't drop him into the quicksand, you can't drop him outside of the screen. Can I drop him at all? Or is he too good for that? Is it over here, maybe? There we go. Okay, the bell's rusty, and he's not going to take it rusty. So we need to get back to Sabrosia. Fortunately, there's actually an easy way to do that. We have to go back to the ship. Push that box, and we can go right through. And we're in Sabrosia. Ain't that cool. So, what place do we know of that can shine up the captain's bell? The smithy can do that. So, let's go to the smithy. Which is, as I recall, right there. Up and to this direction. That's not the smithy. How do I get up there? This way. I don't think this is going to accomplish much. So I will cut this and resume at the smithy. Okay, so here we are at the smithy. So let's talk to these guys and let them do their thing. The two in background us. Yeah, we've heard this before. He says you want a bell of great value. He hasn't offered to polish it, but should he? And then this one, you want to be aggressive. You want to tell him to do it. 
So they'll do the little thing again, just like they did with the shield. And now the bell is shiny. Yay, shiny. And since we're about to run out of time, I'm going to call this a video, so on that note, this is Homestar92, and the next part will deliver the bell, and I am signing off.